what's up my name is techno but here for troubleshoot and welcome back to another video in this quick video i'll talk about installing forge fabric and optifine for the latest minecraft launcher that you can get through the microsoft store so things have changed slightly basically if you try and download optifine forge or fabric or anything else like that it won't really integrate with the new minecraft launcher but you can still use it let me give you an example. Heading across to percentage app data percentage dot Minecraft or C uses your username app data roaming Minecraft. You'll see this folder here. Pretty familiar. Scrolling down, however, you'll see a lot of files that have other versions such as this launcher profiles and launcher profiles Microsoft store dot JSON. Basically, this new Microsoft store version is using this file here, while the normal Minecraft launcher is using this file here. Even though they're exactly the same, they're named differently, and so everything needs to change to this new ecosystem or, well, naming scheme. Basically, if you install Optifine, Forge, Fabric, or anything like that, they'll work with launcherprofiles.json. When you fire it up in the Microsoft Store, it checks this file here, and hence has none of the profiles that we just installed. Let me give you an example. So, heading across to the Minecraft launcher, you can see I don't have Optifine. Closing out of it, heading across to Optifine.net and simply downloading Optifine here. Then I'll go ahead and open it up to install it. Simply click install. Now it's been installed. At this point in the old launcher, when we open it up, it'll now be available as a version. However, in this new Microsoft Store version of the Minecraft launcher, you'll see that the profile hasn't been added. There we go. No Optifine here. But on the installations tab, new installation, you'll see that I have Optifine HDUG9 here, as well as other versions that I installed previously, including Fabric and Forge. Now, at this point, the Optifine installer should have either added to this profile's JSON over here, or created it from scratch. All you need to do is rename this one to this one here. Firing up the Minecraft launcher, you'd have no profiles, but Optifine or whatever you had in the old launcher now in the new one. I've got much more information in the description down below in a migrating slash copying guide. You don't even need to log into your Minecraft and or Microsoft account again. You can just copy it across from the previous version. Keep all your worlds, profiles, etc. So TLDR of this video, you can go ahead and copy the actual text out of launcher profiles here if you understand how JSON works into this one here and get it in your new Minecraft launcher. However, the easiest thing to do is to just add it as a new installation here yourself. But if you absolutely insist on copying things across, open up the Launcher Profiles JSON file here from the old one and locate Optifine on this list. So, Profiles Optifine over here. I'll copy everything from just before the opening curly brace all the way down to the bottom of this, down here by the ending comma, and I'll copy it. As you can see, I also have Fabric Loader here, Forge, etc. Then opening up the Microsoft Store version here, we'll have a look at the very top, Profiles, and I'll simply paste it in here. Make sure that you're keeping the format of the file, that you have a comma between every entry in here. This is JSON coding, and if you're familiar with code at all, this should be somewhat understandable. Saving this file, closing it, launching up the Minecraft launcher. As you can see, here is the Optifine launcher here, and everything should be working properly. If I click play, it'll fire up as per usual. So while we're still in this awkward transitioning stage before developers like the people behind Optifine, Forge, Fabric and the rest update their systems to work with this new launcher, you'll either need to do it manually by adding it yourself or by actually copying the code and putting it in new files. Now, unfortunately, if you're trying to fire up different launchers and things and it's not working properly because you're using the Microsoft Store version and you haven't had the previous version installed, Long story short, it's going to take some time for things to work properly once again. If you absolutely need everything to work, rather stick to the old launcher for some time before updating to the new one. If I head across to Minecraft.com, download for Windows 10 or 11, you do still get the installer, and upon following through with it, you should install the previous older launcher for Minecraft, and things should work properly as far as I understand. Though you will have that annoying, you should migrate notification at the very bottom. At least I think I'm not seeing it here. I'm not too sure if that's how it works, but I, I'm pretty sure it is. Anyways, regardless, it's an awkward stage. Developers will get through this, but for now, just be patient. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.